Hello, my name is Elena Olivas Loretta and I'm a planner with the City of Wheat Ridge Community Development Department. I'm presenting case number WZ2208, which is a request for approval of a zone change from Commercial 1 to Mixed Use Commercial at 7525 West 44th Avenue. I would like to enter into the public record the contents of the case file, the zoning ordinance, the comprehensive plan, and this digital presentation. The property is within the City of Wheat Ridge. All appropriate notification and posting requirements have been met and therefore City Council has jurisdiction to hear this case. The subject property is outlined in red. The property is located approximately at the intersection of West 44th Avenue and Wadsworth Boulevard. The area is primarily commercial along Wadsworth and residential to the east and northeast. The property measures about 2.5 acres in size and contains a commercial structure built in 1972, which was most recently a pet boys business. This is a zoning map of the area. Please note that an updated zoning map is currently not available due to the cybersecurity incident. The property shown in the top left corner was recently rezoned to MUN, which this map does not reflect. The subject property is currently zoned C1 and is outlined in red. The site is largely surrounded by C1 and mixed-use commercial zoning. To the northeast, the site is adjacent to Residential 2 zoning, which is a city-owned parcel containing the Aplebacher Park. Other surrounding land uses are non-residential in nature, including a propane business, the former Bank of the West, now owned by the city and functioning as a construction office for the Wadsworth Improvement Project, and the office building owned by the applicant, Foothills Regional Housing. Recent development projects in the area include Town Center and Town Center North Apartments to the southeast at 44th and Vance. This is a view of the subject property looking east from Wadsworth Boulevard. It is a 26,600 square foot commercial structure with parking. This is a view of the subject property looking north from West 44th Avenue. The applicant intends to rezone the property to allow for a wider range of uses and to align the property zoning with the city's comprehensive plan, the Wadsworth Corridor, Urban Renewal Area Plan, and with other properties on the corridor. Should the zone change be approved, the applicant intends to redevelop the site for a multi-unit housing building. The current C1 zoning is reflective of long-standing commercial uses in the city. The C1 zone district allow allows a wide range of commercial land uses, which include office, general business, and retail sales and service establishments. By contrast, MUC zoning allows residential uses, commercial uses, or a mix of the two, and the permitted retail uses are greater in number. The MUC designation would allow more flexibility for revitalization of the site and will provide standards for a future redevelopment. The proposed MUC zoning allows residential uses, commercial uses, or a mix of the two. The MUC district is complementary to the context of the corridor and the surrounding zoning and land uses and provides a wider range of allowed uses than the existing C1 zoning. This table summarizes the current and proposed zoning's development standards. Most of the proposed zoning development standards would apply if the property redeveloped in the future. Most notable differences between the two zone districts include building height, setback requirements, and build to requirements. The design standards in MUC are strict and include architectural standards, open space requirements, setbacks, and parking requirements. I would like to note that the maximum height in MUC is taller than C1 in part because the property is located in the area that voters exempted in 2008 from the charter's height and density limitations. That means a single-use building can be up to four stories or 62 feet and a building that is vertically mixed use can be up to six stories or 90 feet. As a requirement of the zone change process, a neighborhood meeting was held on November 23, 2021 in a virtual Zoom meeting setting. Five people attended the meeting and did not have any concerns. Because Wheat Ridge is not a full service city, we sent the application on referral to outside agencies including fire, water, and sanitation, as well as completed an internal review. We did not receive concerns or objections from outside agencies. Before the hearing, the property was posted for 15 days and letters were sent to property owners within a 600 foot radius. Comments collected on Wheat Ridge Speaks will be reviewed by City Council. The Planning Commission recommended approval of the request on November 3, 2022. We use several criteria to evaluate zone change requests, which includes consistency with the comprehensive plan and other applicable plans. Staff believes that the proposed MUC zoning is consistent with the policies and goals in the City's Comp Plan and the Wadsworth Corridor Urban Renewal Area Plan. 
The property is identified as a neighborhood buffer area and is along a primary commercial corridor within the structure plan. These designations are used for existing commercial areas, which call for the promotion of reinvestment in properties and the promotion of a mix of neighborhood supporting uses, including residential use and office use. The Wadsworth Corridor Urban Renewal Area Plan calls for many of the same policies and goals of the city's comp plan, including high quality architecture and design, the incorporation of new and existing uses that accommodate existing and future market demands, and the re revitalization of existing neighborhoods. The mixed use commercial zoning designation is appropriate for the subject property, allowing the existing land to become conforming and enabling the possibility of future redevelopment, which aligns with the city's adopted goals and policies. Ultimately, staff is recommending approval of the request for the following reasons. Based on character and land use patterns of the area, the MUC zone district in this area is more appropriate than C1 in terms of allowed uses for the property. For that reason, the zone change should not have an adverse effect on the surrounding area. Staff finds a zone change to MUC is appropriate and supported by the city's comprehensive plan and the Wadsworth Corridor Urban Renewal Area Plan, specifically the vision for high quality architecture and design, the revitalization of existing neighborhoods, and reinvestment in aging commercial properties. This zone change request supports the comprehensive plan by enabling investment in the property and by aligning the zoning with the city's mixed use goals for this corridor. City Council is the final decision maker on this rezoning request. That concludes my presentation. Thank you.